One of the first startups that I ever created and I raised tons of money, well over 10 million bucks for, was Kissmetrics. And guess what? It didn't do well financially, especially in the early stages. We burned over $4 million before we even saw our first dollar in revenue. Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm gonna share with you three marketing mistakes that you ought to avoid. The first tip I have for you is don't spend too much time building out your product without marketing it. At Kissmetrics, what we would do is we we're like, oh my God, we're gonna create this best analytics tool and software and then we're gonna market it and then we're gonna make a ton of money. We spent years building it and then we market it and you know what we found out? People were like, Neil, I don't understand why I need this. That was a huge mistake. Not just a huge mistake on mine, that was a huge financial mistake. You're talking about $4 million. That's a lot of money. The point I'm trying to make is, if you're gonna create a product or a service, go out there and test the market. There's nothing wrong with spending a few hundred dollars or a few thousand dollars or even just picking up the phone and talking to people and being like, hey John, hey what's up, this is my idea. What do you think about this? Would you pay for it? And try to even collect money even if you don't have your product or service. And if people give you their money, you can refund them right away. I'm not even saying you have to deliver the product. Just refund them, say I'm sorry, get on the phone with them, apologize, maybe give them a free Starbucks gift card. And what you'll find is, if what you're doing is gonna make you money or not. So don't go out there spending a ton of time and energy building something without marketing it. If you don't market whatever you're planning on building and knowing if people are willing to pay for it, you could be making a huge mistake. Don't do what I used to do. The second tip I have for you is don't market to everyone. I don't care if you think everyone in the world would love your product, that's not the case. Pick one audience. That's why you see detergent companies out there, you know laundry detergent, marketing to moms or for babies or kids or saying this is the organic one. They're picking a niche. Even a product that everyone needs out there, they're still picking a really specific segment of a market to market to. And you should be doing the same thing too, in which you shouldn't be marketing to everyone. So pick the audience that you want to market to and just focus on them. Good example of this is ConvertKit. They built a marketing software that helps you with email marketing. They tried competing with MailChimp and everyone being like, oh, this is better email marketing. They didn't do well. Once they picked a marketing software that was specifically focused on marketing just to people who have a blog, they started hitting $10 million in revenue within two years. That's right, 10 million a year in two years by just picking a specific segment. And that's what you need to do. So pick a niche, go after it, just market to them. And then later on, you can expand and market to more people but you need to first dominate that niche. And the third tip I have for you is caring for branding over customer acquisition, especially at the beginning. And on a side note, there's rain right now in LA, so if you're hearing the rain you know, on this video, I do apologize. Never really expected this in sunny LA. If you're a new startup or a new company and you wanna focus on branding, that's fine, you can. But why would you focus on building a brand when you don't even have any customers? Go out there and acquire the customers. Go test Facebook ads, go test Google Hours, go test SEO. Go Go test content marketing and podcast advertising. Go do it all. It's like spaghetti. Go throw it on the wall, see what sticks, and if there's a good ROI, keep doing more of it. But that's the whole purpose of marketing. Why would you go out there and try to build a big brand and be like, I want to be the next Uber or McDonald's. I want to be the next Coca-Cola. If you don't have any customers, go acquire the customers first. Once you do, you'll be able to build your brand over time. What most people don't tell you about branding is when you acquire more and more customers and people use your product or service, you're building a brand. So don't think about a brand as like, oh, I need to get my logo everywhere. That's not just brand building. The best brand building is people using your product or service, them loving it, and them telling their family and friends about it and be like, oh my God, you gotta buy snuggles or you gotta buy this toilet paper, it's really soft on your tushy. You gotta be really picky about your customers and making sure the right ones love your product. And that's why it relates to tip number two, which I already discussed, market to a specific niche. So if you get people to love what you're doing, you're acquiring these customers and they're using it and they love it, they're much more likely to keep telling other people about your product or service and that's what builds a brand. You don't see Amazon doing a ton of TV advertising back in the day, but yet they're a multi-billion dollar company. Same with Google. But how they build this huge brand? Everyone was using their products, their services, having amazing experience and be like, oh my God, this Google is so much better than Yahoo, you have to use it. Yahoo what, right? No one's talking about Yahoo these days. Same with Bing or MSN. 
And the same goes with your company. You'll build your brand by acquiring users, getting to use your product or service, and providing amazing experience. The key is to, to knock their socks off. If you knock their socks off and delight them, you'll create an amazing brand over time. So those are the three tips that you need to follow if you don't want to fail. Avoid the, making the mistakes that I was making, and you should be good to go. If you like this content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, join the community. I'm gonna be here every single week helping you grow with your marketing and your business. And of course, leave a comment if you have any questions. I'm here to help you out.